Hi, and welcome back to my channel. So today's coaching video, I'm going to give you 21 tips to release self-neglect. You might be thinking about Michelle, I don't really neglect myself. You'd be surprised. We all do at some point in time. So let's jump right on in. Number one, begin your day with love and not technology. Tell yourself that you are worthy before you get out of the bed, before your feet hit the floor. You need to tell yourself that you're worthy. I tell myself that every morning. I tell myself that several times during the course of the day. You know why? Because I am worthy. Even if other people don't think so, I am worthy. Number two, take time to meditate and to journal. Mm. Start with five minutes of meditation and journaling every morning. And, and as time allows, you can add on more time. But that, I promise you, that is so valuable to start your day with meditation and journaling. Number three, talk, talk yourself happy. Use affirmations to train chain mm, use affirmations to train your mind to become more positive. You have got to talk yourself happy. It doesn't matter what's going on in your life right now. It doesn't matter if you have bills due, your kids acting a plump fool, your other half won't get it together. Talk yourself happy. Number four, get emotionally honest. Acknowledge your feelings and work through them. If you can't be honest with yourself, you who can you be honest with? If you can't be honest with you, who can you can't be honest with me if you can't be honest with yourself? So you got to learn to be honest with yourself first. Number five, expand your interests. Try something new. Learn a new language. Go places that you've never been. Do things you've never done. You deserve to have a great life. And I cannot stress that enough. Number six, enjoy life-enhancing activities. Find something that you love doing and do it. Number seven, be willing to surrender. Breathe, relax, and let go. Stop fighting against yourself by wanting people, places, and things to be different. Been down that road, and I'm not doing that anymore. I, ha I can only control me. I can't control you, okay? Number eight, work on personal and spiritual development. Be willing to surrender and grow. Life is a journey. Do you hear what I'm saying? Life is a journey. So we're here to learn and love on a deeper level. When life gets hard, learn to take baby steps because small steps, if you take enough small steps, it's going to get you where you want to go. Number nine, own your potential. Love yourself enough to be to believe in limitless opportunities available to you. Take action and create a beautiful life for yourself. Stop waiting for other people to do that. Do it for yourself. Number 10, be patient with yourself. Let go of fear. Trust in yourself. Do good work and you will see results. But you got to let go of fear because fear keeps you from, from taking that step forward or even to the set, to the left or to the right. It'll cause you to go back. But it's not going to allow you to go forward. Get rid of that fear. Number 11, live in appreciation. Train your mind to be grateful. Y'all, I'm grateful for everything. I'm grateful every morning that the good Lord allows me to wake up in my right mind. I am grateful every morning that he allows my family and friends to wake up every day in their right minds. I'm grateful for the house that I live in. I'm grateful for the car that I drive. I'm grateful for the job that I have. You have got to be grateful. Learn to love your imperfectly perfect self. Imperfectly perfect self. Okay? Number 12, be guided by your intuition. All answers come from within. Look for signs and pay attention to your gut feelings. You'll hear two inner voices when you need to make a decision. The quiet voice is your higher self. The loud voice is your ego. Always, always go with the quieter voice. Number 13, do what honors and respects you. Don't participate in activities that bring you down. Love everyone, but don't allow toxic people in your life. Now, y'all know I talk about that all the time. I can love everybody, but that doesn't mean I want you in my inner circle. It doesn't. It, it just does not. Okay? Y'all have to excuse me. These lights are causing my face to dry. It's making my nose itch, so I do apologize. Number 14, accept uncertainty. Live in the moment and always be at peace. Let me say that one more time. Live in the moment and always be at peace. I'm always at peace. It doesn't matter what's going on around me. Michelle is always going to be at peace because I'm, I have learned to live in the moment. There was a time that while I'm doing this video and talking to you all, my mind would be thinking about the million and one things I need to do when I'm done. Not anymore. I'm living in the moment. Number 15, forgive yourself. Mm, this is powerful, y'all. Learn from your mistakes and move on. Use this affirmation. I forgive myself 
for judging myself for. You fill in the blank for whatever it is that you're having a hard time forgiving yourself for. It could be for getting sick. It could be for acting out. It could, it could be that you didn't complete a project or do something you said you were going to do. Whatever it is, forgive yourself and move on. Number 16, discover the power of fun. Self-love requires time to relax, play, and create face-to-face -face interaction with other people. Discover the power of fun. Number 17, be real. Speak up and speak out. Allow yourself to be seen, known, and heard. You have got to speak up. It bothers me to the core of my being when I see people that are always quiet and those quiet people get stepped over. They get looked over. But I want to encourage you to speak up. Allow yourself to be seen, known, and heard. I promise you, you will see me, you will know me, and I will be heard because I'm not going to sit in the corner and allow anybody to do just anything that they want to do. It's not happening. Number 18, focus on the positive. Stop dwelling on past mistakes. Instead, spend your time focusing on the things that have gone good or great in your life. We all have had some setbacks and dis disappointments, but why sit around thinking about those things? If your relationship didn't work out, okay, I'm sorry it didn't work out, but don't sit around pouting over it. That man or that woman, they got on about their business, moved on with somebody else. Honey, focus on the positive, because that might be a positive thing they're not in your life anyway, but I'm going to move on. Number 19, become aware of self-neglect and rejection. Become conscious of your choices. Ask yourself several times throughout the day, does this choice honor me? And I promise you, if you do that, you will think differently about how you make choices. You really will. Always ask yourself, does this choice honor me? No, mm, I better not do it. You have to do that. Number 20, imagine what your life would be like if you believed in your worth. Ooh, y'all, this, this is juicy right here. Dedicate your life to loving you. Make it your main event. I can't tell you how many times I see people that will love everybody else around them, but they have no love for themselves. Honey, I, I, at times I may not necessarily love everybody around me. I love them with the love of God, but I love Michelle. I have to, because guess what? If nobody else loves me, I have to love me. So imagine what your life would be like if you believed in your worth. Mm. Let that sink in for a minute. If I believed in my worth, see, I believe in my worth. I need you to believe in your worth because you are worthy. You bring value to whatever it is that you're working on. You bring value to whoever it is that enters your life. But you've got to believe that. I believe it for you, but you've got to believe it. And last but not least, number 21, seek professional help. You deserve to be happy. You have a right to be accepted and loved. If necessary, seek help from, from a support group, a counselor, a life coach, hint, hint. It's the best investment you can ever make. If you chose me to be your life coach, I can promise you that we will sit down and I will help you get your life back in order because you matter. And it really, it really bothers me when I meet people who feel like they don't matter. And I tell them, guess what? But you matter to me. I care if you succeed or not. I really do. And I don't know most of you that are watching this video, but I don't need to know you personally. But I care whether or not you succeed. Other people may not care, but I do. I really do care. I care if everybody succeeds. And so if you are having a hard time and you just can't seem to get your life together, reach out to me. Let's set up some, some counseling, not counseling, some coaching sessions where we can help you get your life back on track. Okay, because I want you to succeed. You matter. And like I said, if you don't matter to anybody else, you matter to God first and you matter to me. Okay, so I'm gonna do a quick recap and I promise I'll let you be. So today I gave you 21 tips on how to release self neglect. Number one, I said begin your day with love and not technology. Number two, take time to meditate and journal. Number three, talk yourself happy. Number four, get emotionally honest. That's important. Number five, expand your interests. Number six, enjoy life enhancing activities. Number seven, be willing to surrender. Number eight, work on personal and spiritual development. Number nine, own your potential. And I mean really own it. Number 10, be patient with yourself. Number 11, live in appreciation. Number 12, be guided by your intuition. Number 13, do what honors and respects you. Okay? I said respects you. Yes, we want to honor and respect our family members, our friends, 
you know, those in our inner circle, but you always have to do what honors and respects you because what respects, what honors and respects them may not respect you. Number 14, accept uncertainty. Number 15, forgive yourself. You've got to forgive yourself. If you're walking around with something on your heart that happened months ago, years ago, let the, forgive yourself. Okay, you've got to forgive yourself because whatever it is that you did or didn't do, you can't change it anyway. Okay, number 16, discover the power of fun. Number 17, be real. Number 18, focus on the positive. Number 19, become aware of self-neglect and rejection. Number 20, imagine what your life would look like if you believed in your word. And number 21, seek professional help. So, that's all I have for you guys. I want to say thank you so much to my newest subscribers. Thank you so, so much to, to those of you that continue to support me in all that I do. I love you guys to the moon and back. And don't forget, stop settling for self-neglect. Stop tearing yourself down. Stop speaking negativity into your life. Speak love. Speak happiness. Speak, speak whatever it is that you want in your life. Not that negative stuff. Let that go. And if all else fails and you can't get it together, reach out to me. Let's set up set up some, some coaching time that we can sit down and work it out, okay? Again, that's all I have. I love you guys to the moon and back, and I can't wait until we talk again next week. Until then, love yourself, guys, because if you don't, who will? Take care.